everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to compress a video uh, and uh, display it inside an exo player uh, like our video player view so in native android application so let's get started so here i have one button called pick video if i click on it it just displays uh, our video picker so i have this one video if i select this particular video uh, here you can see i'm displaying first a text of how much progress has happened but instead of this you can take an actual progress bar if you want to i wanted to keep things simple that's why i have taken this uh, now uh, it depends on how big your video is so if your video is extremely big this will take lot of time uh, so just be patient that's all i can say uh, so hopefully this should get done uh, pretty soon Of course the video quality would be little less but I have kept the video quality as very high so let's see so here you can see that it has started playing the video I have paused the video because the audio is pretty annoying and if I click on pick video again here you can see now there are two videos the second one uh, is the compressed video uh, which we have just created uh, now if I just go to uh, my uh, file uh, my files app so here you can see these are the two videos now if i select the uh, compressed video try to check the size here you can see it is 8.22 mb okay and this is the original video i guess so it is 12.32 mb so the compressed video can be compressed even further but i have kept the video quality as very high that's why it has only compressed till 8 mb i like uh, the other video qualities are like um, i think low medium high those gives extremely poor video quality that's why i have kept it as high so anyways choose whatever you feel comfortable in let's see how to do this so here i have created a native android application i am using xml layout but if you want you can use jetpack compose as well next inside build.gradle.kts i have added three libraries so first is this uh, light compressor library and next i have added exo player as well as ui to play uh, the compressed video next you will have to go to build.gradle. No, no sorry not this you might have to go to settings.gradle and here you will have to add this maven url of jetpack.io this is for that uh, compressor library which we have included inside our build.gradle also add it over here as well then you will have to go to lips.versions.toml and here you will have to add firstly our light compressor library so at the point of me recording it is 1.3.2 as well as this media 3 exo player library and then inside libraries you will have to add uh, firstly these two functions uh, these two sorry sentences so this would include our media 3 exo player dependency and for light compressor we will have to add this particular dependency okay next we have to go to activity under just click on sync now it will download all the dependency and if you see my activity underscore main i have just taken one button to pick the video then one text view to display the percentage of how much video uh, compression has finished and one player view to play the actual video so you can just copy paste it if you want to uh, then you can just go to activity underscore main firstly i will show you all this imports which i have then um, here i have taken one text view our exo player our player view then playback position is zero play when ready is true video url is null at the very start and then uh, i'll come back to this later on uh, here we are initializing our text view as well as input player and on click of our button we call this launch new video picker so it just uh, picks videos it shows videos only inside our video picker so it basically calls this particular thing register for activity result and once the user selects a video we get the uri so here i am just checking if the midi uh, uri is not nil then we import video compressor so the light com we import video compressor from our compressor library light compressor and just call the start method here we passed our context here you can pass a list of media uris but currently i only have one uh, uri that's why i have just passing uh, one uri media uri over here but if you want to pass a list of uh, video uri you can do that is streamable i have kept it as false but you can make it as true then this is for saving the video so here i am saving it inside our movies and this should be my dash videos and here i have taken one configuration so this is uh, 
what should be the name of the file right so here i have named it as my compressed video name it whatever you for want and i have also appended times uh, timestamp so that each uh, file is unique then quality i have kept it as high is min bitrate checked i have kept it as false when i kept it as true it was causing it was throwing me an error so you might have to play around with this i think typically false would work there are other parameters as well so if you want you can change this if you feel like then here inside on progress uh, parameter uh, callback we just update the text of our text view on the main thread if you want the start callback you can use it as well and on success gets called once our uh, video compression is done so i just assign it to this the path of our compressed video to our video url variable i initialize our input player and call on resume i'll show you this code in a bit and on failure i'm just displaying a toast message in case if user cancels it if you want to cancel it uh, by some reason you can handle that callback as well now if you see inside in init input player i'm just initializing our input player play when ready is true i'm assigning our player to our input player then here i am calling media item dot from uri passing our video url if media item is not equal to null then i am calling input player dot set media item then i am just calling input player dot seek playback position play when ready to our is true and just prepare our input player also i think if you check my android manifest i have added this right external storage permission which is required till uh, max hdk version 28 uh, later on we uh, this library uses scope storage so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye